Virtua 300. The Virtua 300 is the higher standard for decision-making simulation and tactical firearms training. Five screens in a 300-degree immersive training environment ensures that time in the simulator translates into real-world survival skills. The system reconfigures to 15 lanes of marksmanship training. Virtua 180. The Virtua 180 is the higher standard for decision-making simulation and tactical firearms training. Three screens in a 180-degree immersive training environment ensures that time in the simulator translates into real-world survival skills. The system reconfigures to nine lanes of marksmanship training. Virtua 100. The Virtua 100 is the higher standard in single-screen, affordable, judgmental use-of-force firearms training simulators and tactical firearms training. Extensive library of realistic training scenarios capable of supporting the entire use-of-force continuum, from verbal skills, less than lethal options, such as taser, beanbag, baton, pepper ball, and OC, to lethal force. The system fully supports marksmanship and skill building from basic to advanced. The Virtua 100 comes in three different options, Virtua 100 Lite, Virtua 100 Portable, and the Virtua 100 Threatfire. Virtua Range. The patent pending Virtua Range is the most detailed simulation of a real indoor and or outdoor shooting range. It is the closest thing to having your own live fire shooting range, but with none of the challenges and a fraction of the cost. The training was amazing. The, um, the immersion factor, it, it really gets discounted, you know, the, the ability to, to look and see and try to interact with, with people and the fact that you have this 360 environment to where you can use good cover. I found myself moving to cover the way that I've been trained to do. I found myself interacting with it the way that i had been trained to do. When they're good actors and you can get yourself into the mindset of the scenario, it was it was done real well. You know, it it didn't have that video gamey feel, to where I just wanted to just like start hunting people down and shooting. You know, the ability that it was a dynamic scenario that was unfolding, based on options and decisions that I made, was a big thing. That threat fire module is in my mind, because of the reaction that you get when you get zapped by it. It you're going to have officers that that fight through it and then you're going to have officers who probably shouldn't be on the job that completely lose their mind. And that's, that's fantastic training. Anytime you can induce that type of stress in a scenario-based environment, you're way ahead of the training game. And that, that, was, that was phenomenal. It, it, it's going to immerse your officers like no other environment does. With the threat fire, it's going to bring out the war fighters, it's going to bring out the meat eaters, and it's going to bring out the people that should probably have support role in the agency. It was the best two minutes of training that I've had in the last 10 years. It, it was fantastic. Um, the 300 degrees of, uh, of screen coverage and simulation uh, really get you involved in the um, scenario that you're going through. The live images give you uh, a real sense of an actual scenario. Um, when you see the computer generated images, at least in my mind, it, it conjures up a video game. And, and this adds a degree of realism to it that you don't get when you're doing it any other way. It's head and shoulders above what we've used before. We've purchased other systems, we've trained with other systems, um, and this is by far the most lifelike, realistic one that, that I've been in.